Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. It's just me and Evie this morning. We are at the vet's office. We're just waiting for them to call us. Sorry for the abrupt stop. They actually called and they were ready for her. So I'm not allowed in because of the virus. They aren't allowing people inside the office, which is a little bit more difficult today for me because she is just going in for like yearly checkup stuff. And um, her insurance covers blood work to make sure all of her organs are working nice and well. And she's never... I don't think she's ever had that done before. Um, she's also getting one of her vaccines that are up. And I think that might be it other than just her exam, but a little bit more intrusive today. Um, but they always take really good care of her. So now I just wait for a call and hopefully it won't take too long. Um, but this is the last appointment of the week. I've had something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so we've been busy, um, but that's good, that's good. I am going to make our favorite black bean burgers. I actually don't have quinoa, so I'm gonna try and do it with lentils. We'll see how it works. There's some other binders in, um, in the recipe that doesn't make that like a total game changer. Um, but we haven't shown them in a while, so I will show you how I make those. I'm prepping early, it's before noon, because it entails some cooking of ingredients before like the patties are actually cooked. So like I have to cook potato, I have to grind up oats and cook the lentils, and then the, um, the meat it needs to cool for a certain amount of time in the oven, or I'm sorry, in the oven, in the fridge. Um, and then it'll be ready to go by the time we're ready to eat dinner. I will link the recipe below. It actually calls for sweet potato, but I don't like sweet potato. I've always used normal potato and it's been fine. Um, this potato is really big and you only need like a cup's worth. You don't want your um, burger patty to turn into like a potato pancake because I've had that happen to me before um, so I'm gonna cook this potato for the burgers and then I'm gonna have a little potato wedge treat I'm preparing my lentils it'll account for about a cup once cooked again this is supposed to be quinoa don't really know how this is gonna go first time ever doing this but it's what I got so I always use our coffee grinder obviously washed very well um, to chop up the oats not too fine because like you want it to like have some texture um, but you don't want like full-on oats in your burgers so this is the consistency so I just chopped up half of a small onion the recipe calls for red onion but I only had yellow this should be just called cook with Sarah when she has none of the ingredients um, and a really tiny jalapeno that I'm gonna add to the burger mix so once your beans are in there, you're gonna wanna mash them up. I think a fork works best. I've never tried to use like a handheld mixer or anything, um, which could also work. But I do like having some bigger bean chunks, but you also need like the meat of the beans to make up the meat of the burger. So um, I'm gonna mash this up, add in my seasonings, um, and then hopefully the potato and the lentils will be done soon. Okay, here is how the burgers look with everything in it. Sorry, the dishwasher's going, so it might be a little loud. Um, but I'm just gonna put it in the fridge now until dinner time. So this will make about six like hefty burgers, which is nice because that'll be like three nights worth of dinner for us. I have um, some veggies that I'm going to roast for side dishes each of those nights. Um, so this is a great one. It takes a decent amount of time to like actually make the um, bean mixture, but then it's really nice to just have in the fridge ready to go um, and good for left. It's like not really like leftovers, it's just like it lasts a couple of days. Um, so yeah, that is that. I'm getting the vlog up. Peter is on meetings like crazy. Um, we don't really know what we're gonna do tonight, but so far it's been a productive day. I realized we never showed the side table that we got. 
this is the beginning of whatever we're putting on there, probably a plant. Those are some vintage Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins books. You tell us if it works. There's like no resistance. You can just breathe. Where do you think you're going? Going to the track shack. They post on Instagram that they got these like cool, lightweight, fitted masks that are for running, I think. And we we're, we're in need of getting like thinner masks to use for our vacation next week. Plus, I think I need to wear them when I run on property yeah. next week. So I'm gonna go in and There's see. There's sporty. There's two sporty for sale. I'm gonna go in and see if I like them. If I like them, I'll pick one up. But it's rainy. And I'm gonna leave Sarah here in the car. Enjoy. Check it out. Check it out. Check, check. Oh. Look at this rain. So I picked up two masks, actually. I'll show them in the car, but this is branded a track shack, and this is like the, the good fitness one. Looking like a mask party. Here's the track shack, so this is Run Orlando track shack. This is branded for the store. Honestly, I love them both. Yeah, they are nice. They smell like a shoe store. So? But like, you can see like this <laughs> part is. Yeah, it's got like, a, that one's got a special like, felt like knitted, like in the, in the things, it's got the material to help be antibacterial. This is just like a book sock, kind of. <laughs> like that's what the kind of material it is. Yeah. All right, the verdict is Sarah likes the black, so I'm going in to get a black one for her. <laughs> Sarah, we gotta go. Oh we God. gotta go. I can't get my seatbelt on. We got yeah, we got here. Ah! Ah! Okay, this. Ah! Just, so, we're on our way to the P.O. Box. So I say, should I just check and see if there's availability? So he's like, yeah, why not? And I was like, well, we have our, we have our three park passes already. Oh, um, I4 looks like a mess. I'm taking, I'm going the back road okay, to the that's Springs. Fine. I was like, we, we have- We get there by six. Zero! So I hope it lets us in. I hope it's not a glitch. But I was like, should I delete? Cause we already have three. I was like, should I just delete our like, our furthest away one, which is in August. You be careful. Um, and he's like, yeah, just delete it because I guess they're like opening up some availability tomorrow in the app. So he's like, it'll be fine. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like at this point, we're just <laughs> upset about not ever being able to go. And so I was like, I, I'll just check. And then worst case, worst case, um, we don't, we're not able to. And um, there's availability. Like I just got available, like a park pass for today, right now at 5:40 p.m. Oh! We literally just screamed at the same time. We are in. This is real. I do not understand. I don't know how. There's the world showcase. Hello. Woo! Thank you, Andy. <laughs> so how did this happen? I, I truly am at a loss of tears. And it's food and wine! Food and wine! Everybody loves food and wine! We didn't even eat dinner! I know, it literally was a sign! We decided that we were gonna just snack and then eat later. But now we're gonna eat food and wine! Listen to the music. I like literally have goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear the music? Are you gonna cry? I think I am. I can't wait till we leave tonight and it's dark and this. this... I can never stand this. This is so true. <laughs> Check it out. We found it. Earth eats pie. Impossible. We're gonna do a bunch of meatball, a bunch of pudding. It's gonna be delicious. Guys, you hear the music? We gotta eat because it's soggy. It's soggy, it's dripping out, but we don't even care. Um, we got two of the meatballs and two of the well, terrariums. They also have sliders, which I know they've had in past food and wine. These are from Flower Garden. Garden, so that's like that first little we'll mash get those. Up. We'll get those a different day. Oh, yeah. Or later today. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, ho, ho. Check that out. Look how delicious the terrarium looks. That's all plant based. Plant based, oh. plant based, plant based. All the plants, all the magic. How is it? It's so good. Delicious. 
I think I'm dreaming. I think you're dreaming too. I think I'm dreaming too. I think we're dreaming together. I don't think we're leaving. I think we're gonna. We're literally <laughs> gonna have to wait till security asks yeah. us to leave. Like we're gonna stay here till ten. I can't believe this. Just as it was Cordelia's first ride in her life, it'll be our first ride back into the Epcot Center. They've got some plexiglass going on. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you for visiting us today. Just a few reminders. Please wear a face covering. Got it. Leave your hands off and Doing it. it. Just hand hand sanitized. Hand 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 Which is awkward when you have a face mask on. Yeah. And we are keeping a distance. Um, there is a lot of stuff that's closed, but we're just happy to stroll. Oh! oh that was crazy Did you see lightning, it? yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get the spicy Kenyan vegan corn in white beans from Africa. Look at that portion size vegan githri and Peter's Tusker Lager. Which this is new. This is the 12 ounce. Yeah, so for that, a big addition to this year's festival is that you have the option so you can choose between a 6 ounce or a 12 ounce pour and it's like slightly different cost of course. for the 12 ounce yeah. which is not bad for theme park. Here. No, and that's a decent amount. Awesome. How is it? Really good. You feel so happy? That was so good. Gone. 450. Such a good portion. If you don't if you're not a big quinoa person, it wasn't even like really that quinoa y flavory. It was so good. If you're not a big if you're not a quinoa person. If you're not a quinoa person. But really good. I'm gonna get that again. Yeah, for sure. So how about that for timing? Right as we pass by American Gardens Theater. The Jaminator's come up. Let's let's stay for a minute. Jaminator. Nobody's here right now. Yes. So uh, oh, Sarah's nervous about getting too close. Did it, was it, did it seem like a shorter show? Yeah. Yeah. But it was nice. And I realized like guest interaction is probably a thing in the past for at least a little bit. I mean, I guess I could social distance, like call you out like monsters left floor. Like, but. but that's more manageable. Yeah. Now we're about to really feel the Epcot vibes by going into Mitsukoshi. Oh, Koshi or Kashi? Let us know if it's Koshi or Kashi. I think it's Kashi. As the sun sets, you can see Spaceship Earth through the gateway at Japan. It, it's something else. Like that store just now, it's something else. Okay, something else. That was like my key thing that I would say like when we were just at home and be like, I just want to be watching the sunset from World Showcase. And here you are. Crazy. Crazy. I think it, even though it's cool out, even though it's rainy, I think we need to get, you know what? water from Morocco. Some Morocco water. Cheers. We're gonna sit and enjoy. <laughs> Tastes like Disney World. Oh! This is a new topiary. Remy. Oh, you can see the Radicum. skyline. I didn't know they were going. So we're walking back to the World Show Place, which I think they've used this for like fancy events, D23 stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this fancy party town. Look at this place. Ooh, there's mac and cheese, apple seed orchard, desserts and champagne, festival that's favorites. So that's like from festivals past. There's no garbage cans that we can eat on though. Oh gosh. They're all cardboard. <laughs> this is the hardest I've ever been challenged. So Peter's qualm. Ever, only qualm ever with Epcot or food and wine. Is that they took away the fisherman's pie, but it's here. It's at the favorites. I might have, I might have to go to, I might have to eat it. I haven't eaten meat in, how long? A long time. We've broken for little bits of cheese and butter and honey, but the meat? Fisherman's <laughs> pie from Ireland. 
<laughs> I can smell the butter. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. <laughs> I think I'm crying. Take a bite already. That's a big chunk of, of fish. <laughs> is it hot? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's hot. I literally, every <laughs> food, every food in line, I'm like, every time I walk past the UK and I'm like, fisherman's pie. For years, I would tell anybody, when I worked at the Disney store, uh -huh. if I told you about food and wine, in the Chicago Ridge 512 Disney store, I said, fisherman's pie. And here we are. How did we get here? <laughs> I still think we're dreaming. <laughs> okay, this is what we came in here for. We're sticking with the plant-based version. <laughs> well, the night has concluded with Tonight's premiere of Cooking with Sarah Brookhart. <laughs> this definitely looks like it's supposed to be like a display thing. It smells divine. It smells like divinity. It's sausage and peppers. I think it's beyond. This day, 100% did not turn out to be what it was. If I woke up today, not a single moment today did I think, oh, what are you gonna do tonight? You're gonna hang out by this wheel. <laughs> and I couldn't have asked for anything more in life. Hey, are you eating all that food? <laughs> it's really good. It reminds like me of Hamburger really, Helper. It's really, really good. It is really good, but like it's I have... It's not even like really good, it's like really, really, really good. Oh, baby, hello! It looks glorious. Figment is still open and rocking. 15 minutes for putt close. We're gonna go on soaring for a cherry on top. That's work, pal. Did you think this was how our day would end? I didn't, but I couldn't be more appreciative and honored. And just like that, our very surprising evening at Epcot <laughs> is coming to an end. Incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. <laughs> I didn't feel like we got pixie dust sprinkled at us. Truly. In the most magical way, like, I'm, I'm a, like, I'm just so grateful. And, oh, no. like, yeah. Speechless. Okay, just one more look. It's face to birth. July 15th. Life is ours to be spent, not saved. D.H. Lawrence. We are Disney World exhausted. We're just like emotionally exhausted. Oh, joy. Bamboozled, flabbergasted. All I can say is what it's good I? to be home. <laughs> it's very good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.